right side. Soften your head, there we go. Good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors, some of the most loved ones and most well-known on YouTube. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in today's video with some new additions also. All of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from the channel. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. So we are here today with Natasha. Natasha, what's going on? What brings you in? So I'm a little bit broken, guys. Um, I'm feeling some discomfort in my shoulders, mostly like poor range of mobility and then stiffness in my hips and lower back, which are apparently doing the rest, like knees. We don't know if it's ankles yet, um, so yeah. Feel. So check in here first, your leg length, and what did you told me, Natasha, that you've been told that you have one leg that's... Longer than the other. Yeah, and the people at home there, if you're watching this, we can see that. Have you been told what that means, though? No. So one of the hip bones is out of place when that happens then it will change the leg length. So. so that right side's not moving at all. And you don't feel that at all, huh? That pressure when my hand's there. Sleeping, you can rest your head there. And then I'm gonna bend the top leg and we'll keep the bottom one straight. Good. And just like that, good. And then cross the arms here. I'm gonna roll your whole body toward me. It's gonna feel like I'm gonna drop you. I won't. Okay. Don't <laughs> and, drop me. And then a little push at the end and you're gonna feel it move and hear it move, okay? Okay. And I got you. There you go. Good. <laughs> wow. How did that feel? Um <laughs> like a release of tension for sure. Good, and you weren't even feeling it in that spot apparently. Yeah, I wasn't, which but which is good. Wow. Well let's have you on your back okay. please. We're gonna do that mid back spot. And for this one, I'm gonna have you cross your arms in the front like you're hugging yourself. Good. And then I'm gonna be right there. Big breath in for me, please. Good, let it all go. There you go, a little push at the end. Soften your arms, I got you. There. Oh. <laughs> I definitely don't pop myself like this. Now we're gonna be on the neck. So the one on the low neck, good. We're gonna be... Right there, so that spot, you were feeling that. I'm gonna bring the head this way and just soften your neck. I got you a little push there. Good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not used to this. <laughs> no, that's good. Okay. So as I put my hands there now too, does that feel different or like there's less pressure there? Yeah, definitely less pressure. Be on that top bone right here on the right side. Soften your head, there we go. Good. <laughs> Good, okay. Oh, okay. That was your first adjustment ever. I like it. And then you had jaw problems too, yes? Yes. So a lot of jaw problems come from the bone we just adjusted, but we wanna see if there's truly a jaw problem also. I'll have you slowly open your jaw. Good, yeah, it's moving side to side. Open all the way now. Okay, and close. And then open one more time. And close. So I'm feeling for the motion of the jaw and that left side is actually not moving. Open your jaw and I'm gonna make a little push here and you can feel that move on the left side. There we go. And then open all the way. And then all the way, good. And then close. And then open all the way again. 
good and then close good so it's not shifting so far to the left yeah it's moving straighter as it opens and doesn't always make a noise we don't always hear a release with it but it moved really well and that's okay. what we want is just to restore that normal motion to it i'm gonna do a couple muscle tests here because you had a groin injury yes groin and hamstring injury yeah. and we're gonna check your feet also because they're so related to knee and hip issues i'm gonna push your leg down and in don't let me okay let's check with this one hold here i'm gonna push down and in don't let me so stronger there mm -hmm. one more time here hold you feel the difference how that one doesn't yeah. want to hold yeah this is also the hamstring injury as it well was. So. okay it's not overall weak so feeling for your hip motion in the front you're gonna feel your hips like that i'll have you slide down just a little toward your feet there you go right there and you're gonna feel the table drop like that it sounds loud okay <laughs> but it's just a light push down here you okay with that? Yeah. One more there. Good. Relax your leg. There. It glides better as it goes through there. Does that hurt? No, it doesn't hurt as, as bad. It's and she's doing that. I'll explain that uh, with knee problems a lot of times, especially if it's both knees, it's usually not because you didn't have any injuries to the knees themselves, right? No, the knees is mostly, you know, in high school when I was playing soccer, it's going from turf to grass and then running yeah. on pavement and like the the impact is yes. bad. I had shin splints a lot. So there we go, shin splints. That's more of a foot problem than a knee. And the knees, when it's both of them, to me, it's usually not two knee things unless she's had an injury and impact to both. It's the hips or the feet, so. So moving them through their motion, this foot, your right one doesn't move as far this way. It doesn't? No, and then on the outside also, that might be a little tender. Yeah. Does it feel different than this side? Yeah. Yeah, so more going on on that foot there. So we're gonna make a couple adjustments. This one on the outside is called the cuboid. You can feel that move. A little more, there we go. Yeah. yeah. You feel that move? Yeah. yeah. And then on the top right here, one more. There we go, and YouTube will like that. You know why? Because there's a crack. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Sorry, people. I'm just saying, the first one moved well, too, but there's no noise. This one, you got a noise. Everyone's happy. And then here on top, and this one should make YouTube happy, too. You might hear a little noise with it. But right there. Intermediate cuneiform for the nerds out there. I know we have a few nerds watching, so it's for them. Okay, good, so no noise, sorry people, but. I felt it though. There we go, that's what we want. And then here under your big toe, common in athletics too, same thing from all the sprints or pushing off, happens through this joint. So we're gonna lift that, there. And that was really stuck, that's where turf toe comes from a lot of the time, oh, it's just okay. that excessive like yeah. sprints or that push off. I also wear heels like every day, so it's, I'm sure that's not great. Yeah, it's not at all. <laughs> and same thing, it puts a ton of pressure on that joint. She had a picture of an x-ray of a foot in a high heel floating around the internet. I'll show you. It's, oh God. Yeah, you probably want to stop wearing <laughs> heels after that. Okay, good. One more on the heel there. Okay, good. So let's have you walk pulls as you move. I mean, I feel great yeah. all around now. Like, yeah. I feel like a brand new person. Good, and how would you describe it? So it's your first adjustment ever. Maybe for someone out there that's watching that's never been adjusted, you might also have a high pain tolerance. What would you say? I mean, I would definitely say listen to your body more. I've been guilty of not doing so. Um, it's, like he says, not normal. It's common, and I definitely feel a lot better um, I'm excited to see how I feel playing sports again yes. or like weight training and comparing it. So awesome. Love. Up next, we have Dr. Doug Willen. So I'm going to do one spotted here. There it goes. Do you hear a pop? It's a little one. Next, you're going to lie on your back. Y strap pull on you, okay? See if we can get some release. So I'm going to give a little bit more on this one, okay? Sure, let's give it a go. There you go. So big breath in. Ah. 
You nice. felt that a little more. And I felt your whole body arch. <laughs> Did that feel pretty good though? Mm-hmm. Good. Let me tilt this up a little bit so your okay. head's relaxed. So I'm gonna adjust into here now. Mm. Down towards me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna reach under and adjust into your back. Yeah. Here's another one. Oh, Ooh, that was about five that? of them. Yeah. And that's in that Very you good. you pointed to. Yeah. So turn this way. Okay. I'm gonna just finish up with a little more, okay? Sure. Let me see if I can get a little bit of your low back to release. Come to the other side. Mm-hmm. We're just stretching through the joint, giving it some space. There it goes a little bit. Yep. That one finally went. Oh, that felt so good. Good. <sighs> good. So I'm gonna have you stand over here and okay. where we started. My favorite part was probably um, I do love the wide strap, but I love when you get into that individual um, air space. Mm-hmm and really loosen it up. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.